during all those years and she remembered and she felt so helpless looking at him. She didn't know what exactly to do. But at that time, he wasn't so much her son, he was her savior. Because she was also a sinner. And so he stood there as the son of the living God, savior to the woman, savior to the world. And he said, woman, behold thy son. But right next to her was a disciple. A disciple was standing right next to her. And we understand that to be the disciple that he loved. They call him the beloved. Yes. Right? And so while his name was not there, because of how it is written, John does not mention his name in his books. He wrote um, five books. St. John, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, and Revelation. And so he stood there. And he knew he was loved by God. So when God said, woman, behold thy son, he was actually giving her support. Yes. So we have the scene. We have the savior. But we also have support. Amen. Amen? Amen? We also have support. Because when he saw the disciple, he said to the disciple in verse 27, behold thy mother. Now she did not give birth to him. So the support that we get may not be from our flesh and blood. Yeah. It may not be the person that's closest to us necessarily. But God has a way of rendering support. Now imagine he on the cross, feeling the pain. Yet he showed love. He showed compassion for his mother. He said, see your son. And he pointed to the disciple. And said to the disciple, see your mother. Now well, let me show you what it looks like. Come here, Rev. Come stand right here. Yes, Rev. This is it. Bless the Lord. Holy Spirit. Brother Watson, come and stand beside her. Holy Spirit. So when his mother was at the cross, maybe she was clinging to the cross. Maybe tears were in her eyes and she didn't look so happy when she looked at her son and she couldn't help him. And at that time, God wouldn't take his hands off from the nail prints and the nails in his hand to come down and touch his mother. But he caused somebody to touch her. And he said, woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Do you see the picture? Do you see the picture? She didn't give birth to him. But that's the support that God has given to the woman. Because he knew there are going to be times when she's going to need help. She's going to need support. And someone has to be physically there to give that support. Even though he has everything that she needs. But we need a physical connection. Regardless of what the scene looks like, we have a savior. And even though we have the savior, we have support. Now hug your mother and take her home, as John did, and take care of her for the rest of the time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So what does your scene look like? Children giving trouble. Husband giving trouble, wife giving trouble, work, neighbor, whatever, whatever things that are going right. What is your scene like? May I tell you that the Savior is looking on. And the Savior is there ready to give you support. Ready to give you support. So you may have lost your son. Or you may have lost your daughter. Or you may have lost your mother. Or you may have lost your father. Or you may have a bad upbringing. Or you may have, probably don't even know your mother or your father. God has provided support for you. And may I tell you, sometimes we belittle the support that we have. The support may not be the person who is always there, but every helping hand that you receive along the way is a support. Give God thanks for the support he has blessed us with. We could not have made it without the support at the workplace. Even when you go to the shop, 
somebody support you in pushing the trolley or taking the things out or even cashing the things, God has provided support. Amen. So, don't let the scene end it all for you. Run to the Savior. Look to the Savior and receive the support that God is giving you. God bless you. Lord, I thank you for the support of Cornerstone this morning. Lord, I thank you that again you brought them to support me when I was going through rough patches. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody raise your hands this morning. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a shout out. Give the Lord a shout. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You always give support. Amen. But when Sister Frank, um, Pierce spoke, Sister Frank, I wonder if there is someone this morning who is in need of support. First support is that you need support so that you can give your life to Jesus Christ. You are not a Christian. This morning, the greatest support that you can have is committing yourself unto the Lord. Is there a person who will raise a hand and say this morning, I will accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Is there one this morning? I see no hand. But I just want by faith a mother who is in the house right this morning and you need support by faith just raise your hand. I know the Lord will see. We need, all need support this morning. Dear mother who needs support this morning. We have special prayer later on to be done for mothers and we ask the Lord during that time for the support. Amen? Amen. At this time we go into communion service. Amen? Bless the name of the Lord. There's many things to be done this morning. I know we invite the brothers to come. This is Mother's Day. So we have the main leaders serving this morning at the communion table. Amen.